بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم دس از سبجیکٹ آف پروفیشنل ڈیولپمنٹ اٹ از لیکچر نمبر ٹوینٹی سکس اینڈ ٹو ڈے وی شیل اسٹڈی اباؤٹ رول آف نیکٹی دا آؤٹ لائنس آف دا لیکچرز آر انٹروڈکشن اباؤٹ دا مین ٹاپک اینڈ وٹ از ایگریڈیٹیشن دین ایگریڈیشن پروسیس ان جرنل اینڈ دین پارٹیسپینٹس آف ایکسٹرنل ایولویشن and then how it initiated in pakistan then who are the members what is the scope what is the, its function and what are its standards and then uh, we will go through the process of accreditation first of all nectee what is meant by nectee what is abbreviation of nectee national accreditation council for teachers education higher education commission has set up an accreditation authority national accreditation councils for teacher education nectee generally we say nectee so nectee will look after the matter regarding the accreditation of the institutions and their departments faculties and disciplines by giving them appropriate rating and define the organization's objectives its functions and duties to be performed it will periodically evaluate scrutinize and monitor the standards followed in different universities degree awarding institutions and their affiliated colleges offering education degree programs then uh, there are definitely uh, the members who are working in this organization so here what is accreditation this is normally carried out in uh, on a peer review basis by competent non governmental agencies such as national regional and or local associations these accrediting agencies or associations prepare standards for educational institutions and subsequently apply accreditation is an evaluation process to determine the quality of an institutions or program using present standards accreditation these standards uh, when evaluating individuals institutions seeking accreditations now what is meant by accreditation the fact of being officially recognized accepted or approved of are the act of officially recognizing accepting or approving of something that is called accreditation the college suppose the college was given full accreditation so we say if we say some year and we quote it so it means that in that year that college was affiliated or accredited from some certain authorities so why is it important this is very important because uh, to avoid from getting fake degrees so institutions must be accredited under certain organizations and that organization must be uh, uh, from the government sides it helps determine if an institution meets or exceeds minimum quality standards it helps students determine acceptable institutions for enrollment it assists institutions in determining acceptability of transfer credits so that's why accreditation is necessary now in general accreditation process is there like it involves two 
factors like internal quality enhancement and external quality assurance. Now, who are the participants of external evaluations? First of all, institutional stakeholders, then external stakeholders, then external evaluation team. So these three main uh, areas from where the people are participants, they participate and evaluate the program or they evaluate the degree awarding institutions. How it initiated in Pakistan? Definitely it is reviewed international practices of teacher education program accreditations. It is also being consulted with all the partners, stakeholders and also pilot tested in 30, 43 programs in all over the country. The national professional standards were used as a basis for ensuring the quality of teacher. National Accreditation Council for Teacher Education is authorized wide Gazette of Pakistan notification like 1025 and HC oblique A and C oblique 2004 oblique 2517 and that is dated against 30 August 2007 to accredite teacher education programs offered by public and private sector institutions all over the country. Program accreditation is mandatory under government and HEC rules. The institutions are required to apply for accreditations to the NECTI of all the teachers education programs offered by them. The accreditation process involves preparation of self-evaluation report, completions and submission of the set of 27 oblique 29 documents by the institutions for the concerned program and institutions, desk analysis by NECTI and accreditation visit of the institutions by the external evaluators, then meetings, discussions and interviews with the faculty, students and stakeholders, concerned data collection, analysis and reporting in accordance with the accreditation standards and benchmark. Accreditation, this is a process by which the educational institutions seek an independent judgment to confirm that it substantially achieves its objective and it's general, generally equal to the quality to comparable institutions. The prime objective of Accreditation is to improve quality of higher education, enhance capacity of institutions and upgrade infrastructures to achieve and sustain academic excellence. So NECTI has ensured a uniform and transparent external evaluation and accreditation of the teacher education programs in the country. NECTI initiated formal accreditation of programs in 2011 and there were only six applicants program for the accreditation. However, with the continuous efforts and persuasion of NECTI members and staff by the end of June 2018, it had accredited more than 350 teachers education programs covering at least one program of the almost all public and private sector universities. NECTI is expected to accredit at least 100 more programs from all over the country by the end of year. So NECTI until this time has conducted nine national and international capacity building workshops for the external evaluators with the finance, financial support of HEC, UNESCO, PreStep and USAID. So the pool of external evaluators has now been 
extended to 250 the council signed a letter of understanding with pakistan reading projects the council managed 11 three days capacity building workshop for about 100 public sector teachers education institutions on process and procedures of accreditations the institutions were also supported with accreditation literature and soft copy of training materials the council has also conducted 27 awareness and orientation seminars and meetings to provide guidance and assistance to the teacher education institutions without any charges for the capacity building of their faculty for preparation of accreditation of the programs being offered by them. The seminars and meetings focused on accreditation standards, process, procedures and protocols of the NECTI and necessary documentations and hosting the accreditation visits by the institutions. So the faculty members, sports staffs and students of the teacher education institutions attended the seminar and workshops. The institutions or stakeholders considered these workshops uh, much valuable in understanding the process of accreditation and appreciated the efforts of NECTI uh, Secretariat for uh, organizing these seminars and workshops at their doorsteps. Now, there are some objectives of uh, NECTI. Like NECTI will uh, look after the matter regarding the accreditation of institutions and their departments, faculties and disciplines by giving them appropriate ratings. Then it has to define the organization's objectives, functions and duties to be performed. It will periodically evaluate, synchronize and monitor the standards followed in different universities, degree awarding institutions and their affiliated colleges offering education degree programs. Now, who are the members? NECTI, uh, this is established in 2007 and its members are Council Member, Chairpersons, Vice Chairpersons, Secretary of the Education of the Federal Government or his nominee, Provincial Secretaries of Education or his nominees, Six Representative from universities, one from each province and one renowned teacher educator, one foreign expert, two representative from private institutions, representative of planning commission, director general of training, HEC. So these are the members. Now, what is the scope of NECTI? All the existing teacher education degree awarding degree programs shall be within the jurisdiction of the council. So this is one of the site. Any new program in education, teacher education shall also be referred to the council for the grant of accreditation. The accreditation will be for specific degree programs and not institutions. And accreditation shall be mandatory for all relevant academic programs offered by public and private sector institutions. Moreover, all the existing teacher education degree programs shall be within the jurisdiction of, as we have studies, that uh, uh, it will be in the jurisdiction of the councils and any new program in teacher education shall also be referred to the council for grant of accreditation. Then the council shall support the intellectual development of 
prospective teachers means students interested in pursuing the teacher profession and provide professional assistance to the concerned organizations so the council shall consider the following aspects using set criterion for granting accreditation of degree programs in teacher education subjects overall scope of the program curricula syllabi matching with the level of degree programs the requisite infrastructure the faculty means number and qualifications level of compatibility with international standards and trends level of skills to be developed by the program student support services the library facility internship or practice teaching facilities facilitate for student activities and other amenities financial assistance loan level of job placement of graduates level of market needs fulfillment the council shall assist and advise teacher education institutions in planning their academic and professional programs other scope is the council shall support the intellectual development of prospective teachers interested in pursuing the teacher profession and provide professional assistance to the concerned organizations the council shall consider the following aspects using set criterion for granting accreditation of degree programs in teacher education subjects okay now uh, we shall study about the functions of uh, nect that what are the functions first of all to study and uh, develop policies and procedures for accreditation of teacher education program this is the first function then to lay down criteria on which teacher education degree programs shall be assessed and equated then the third function is to inspect teacher education institutions in accordance with the provision of relevant universities regulations then to approve a list of auditors for different fields to participate in the process of accreditations of teacher education programs then to consider to constitute an accreditation inspection committee aic to evaluate and audit process from the list of auditors the other function is to publish a list of ranking of teachers education programs because there are uh, different programs for teacher education so this is quite necessary that what is the ranking of teacher education program so that the people may analyze that which program is most essential and used in the country then to promote intellectual development and understanding of subjects areas that impact accreditations related activities in the teaching profession we have to develop intellectual development because this is related to teacher education program and if teacher is well trained if teacher is well developed intellectually then they can import their knowledge well in manner and then they can prepare this nation intellectually very strong then to collect collate index publish and disseminate information 
and research findings on teaching profession then to prepare guidelines and procedures to train programmed auditors then to prepare annual report on the activities of the council and submit it to the chairperson agc so these are some uh, you can say functions of necti now there are list of programs accredited by uh, necti so what are those programs the first of all post graduate diploma in special education then ba bsc b8 2.5 years then associate degree in education which is called ade then bs8 means this is a four year education program but this is having specialization in science education then bed honors this is also for four year program but it has a multiple uh, sides so it is uh, has a general uh, you can say but not specific in science education then mmsc and bed this is 1.5 years means if you have done mmsc then you have to do only bed 1.5 years for becoming a teacher then ma education secondary secondary education this is also a education related degree and on the basis of this degree we can do ms or mphil then phd ma education elementary so these uh, master programs are having specialization in certain areas like secondary elementary then MA early childhood education this is also one of the separate degree that is being offered normally from uh, Allahabad Balopur University or Punjab University because in Punjab University there is a rich department of uh, education then master in technical education MTE this is again one of the master degree master in business education mbe master in education m8 master of education in science means ma ms8 master of science education ms8 ma islamic education m8 special education masters in educational research and assessment ma special education ma physical education ma education leadership and management studies master in english language teaching and linguistics master in english language teaching diploma in montessori education mphil education and then phd in education then there are some accreditation standards the first one is curricula or syllabi matching with the level of degree programs the requisite infrastructure this is also important the faculty member and qualifications level of compatibility with international standards and trends level of skills to be developed by the programs student support services the library facilities internship or practice teaching facilities 
facilitate for student activities and other amenities financial assistance or loan etc level of job placement of graduates level of market needs fulfillment then there are four level of accredited status means uh, when you are giving you are been given uh, the accreditation of any program so your program uh, being kept in certain categories like accredited level 1 so this has z z category accredited level 2 this is y accredited level 2 also x and accredited level uh, sorry this is level 3 and accredited level 4 that has uh, degree uh, that, that that has status of w now prerequisites of uh, level w what are the prerequisites like the library comprises of various types of information resources for example print non print electronic and digital materials there is a formal appointment placement policy for teacher educator workload of teacher educators allocate time for planning of instructions supervision practice teaching research and participation in community outreach the program has a documented teacher educators professional development process based on justified priorities then standards in first standard these are to total eight standards and uh, in one that is two elements in second five then third fourth and fourth three standards fifth five sixth three seven two eight two and so on the indicators are uh, different like six thirty five twenty nine nineteen twenty twenty eight nine six etc now how to decide these levels like uh, if accreditation level is c then 6 from s1 2 by 35 from s2 prerequisites like uh, then requisites it has no requisites and it has total 8 and in y another specified 2 of uh, standard 2 1 of the standard 3 6 of the s4 1 of s5 3 of s6 1 of s8 so the total number becomes 14 plus 8 is equal to 22 then requisites or prerequisites of level c any eight indicators of s2 uh, other indicators other than any five indicators of s2 other than prerequisites 13 so it becomes 22 plus 13 equal to 35 then for x status another specified three of standard two one of standard three one of s4 uh, two of s5 one of s8 and it becomes 8 plus 14 plus 8 that is equal to 30 and please requisite of level y and z and any uh, 15 of s2 8 of s3 3 of s4 7 of s5 3 of s6 2 of s7 and one of s8 that becomes 39 and in this way the total 30 plus 39 is equal to 69 and for uh, w another specified 2 of s4 3 of s6 1 of s7 so prerequisites of x y and z any 20 of s2 10 of s3 so now uh, there is a timeline of aggregation Definitely the timeline for month 1, institutions submit their accreditation applications with fee. Uh, within 15 days of step 1, NECTI provides instruction like templates for document analysis and self-evolution report. Within 30 days after step 2, the activity remains the completion and submission of set of 29 documents and self-evolution report program performance profile. Within 30 days after step 3, NECTI verifies the document submitted by the institutions. 
and within 10 days after step 4 NACTI identifies the visiting team communicate the visiting dates issue letters to the team and institutions within 15 days after step 4 NACTI send all the documents to the external evaluators for analysis then uh, within 10 days after step 6 if necessary NACTI provides additional information to the evaluators and prior to the visit team uh, visits uh, guidelines uh, sorry grid uh, guidelines uh, before the visits and uh, operating system that is means uh, opening system or uh, opening session that is uh, team decide visit activities uh, administration of tool and collection of data then uh, exit conference uh, sharing report to the institutions and other stakeholders for feedback and for removal of factual error in uh, institutes may submit their uh, objection if any with uh, in a day if not it assumed that uh, institutes agree to the observation and uh, in post sessions finalization of report and within 15 days of the visit submission of report to the nacti and then uh, within 30 days after step 12 verification completion and correction of data and within 15 days after step 12 data entry and data analysis and in the coming meeting of the council presentation of data and decision on the accreditation status of the institute then within 10 days of the step 16 uh, communicate the decision to the institute within 10 days of objection time after 30 days of receiving the appeal decision on the appeal then after step 4 16 and 17 disseminate the accreditation results through uh, e and uh, print media how to get accredited like NACTI will notify accreditation schedule in accordance uh, to its calendar, and concerned institutions will deposit the accreditation fee. Then, concerned institution is uh, required to file a formal request to the NACTI for accreditation of the teacher education program being conducted by it. And then, the NACTI, it, uh, in response, uh, will issue an accreditation code to the institutions for the uh, program applied for. So, this code will serve as a reference for all. future correspondence and courses of actions and the institutions will complete the prerequisites of uh, accreditation which includes the submission of uh, self evaluation report program evaluation program uh, performance file profile and compliance to the observations if any made by the nacti so after the uh, prerequisites are met the nacti will notify the accreditation visit states so team of uh, nacti appointed auditor academic uh, auditors will visit the institutions on notified dates to assess and evaluate the teachers education program for accreditation purpose the duration of the visit will depend upon the nature of the program and level of the accreditation and uh, any institutions planning to offer a teacher education uh, course or programs may apply to the chairperson or nacti application must contain each document and following information like title of the course duration of the course level of the training and uh, minimum uh, eligibility qualification the scheme of studies and outlines is suggested reading and criteria for each course staff with their qualification academic and professional books and journals available in the library other facilities available in the institutions like laboratories playground equipment etc buildings and infrastructures other programs being run Accreditation uh, Inspections Committee may access their case and may add recommendations to the council for further consideration and approval. So, and principals or chairmen or head of the institutions can lodge a written appeal to the controlling authority if there is a rejection to the grant of accreditation to the program. The controlling authority will form an appeal committee comprising the following: like the chair, chairman, council, dean, faculty of education of university, other than. Uh, appellants university to be nominated by the chairperson hcc one member of the councils to the nominated by the chairperson hcc from the uh, list of the councils members a senior teachers educators head of uh, an accredited teacher education institutions to be nominated by the chairperson hcc the committee will review the appeal and send its recommendations and commitments to controlling authority for decisions and uh, by different processes this is some uh figure uh, as per their pro so this was all about this lecture here allah is